OK everyone, here we go. This is the first of the proper tutorials for Farming Simulator 2013. This first uh, tutorial, just the same as I did for the 2011 ones, will just get the screen ready for uh, editing your first map. So that's we're not actually going to do anything on the map. For this first tutorial, this is just getting everything ready. I'm assuming that you will have a copy of the latest editor, 5.0.1. Um, I just have to assume that you have that already. As long as you've got that, and a copy of Farming Simulator 2013, of course, we should be able to uh, get you all ready to making your own map. First thing we've got to do is download a starter map. We go to Mods. Oh, this is the Farming Simulator website, I should have explained that, FSUK. If you haven't registered on here, do so. Uh, you'll find me on here, Farmer, yep. Just give me a shout anytime you want. Right, first thing we're going to do is get a starter map. This will be a, a starter map of... Um, it's, it's actually the, the sample mod map, but people have adapted it for different uh, uh, uses. There's three available at the time of making this video. There's one released a few days ago, Best Starter Map for Giants Editor. That is a completely flat map with nothing in it at all. More for advanced users, uh, as is said in the description. But if you want just a complete flat map with nothing on it at all, that's the one for you. There is also, uh, just below mine here, is the basic sample mod map, which you can use that's, that's basically um, a copy of the map, the default map, with everything on it in, in place, which you can muck around with and play around with. We're going to use mine uh, for two reasons. One is it's ideal for what we want to do, and I'm used to it. So <laughs> uh, click on that, and then click Download Mod. Don't click the .exe, because that makes it a little bit more complicated to get it where we need it to be. So download the mod. Click on that and uh, save file. No, I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. But just click, click OK, save file, and wherever you normally save your files to, it will go there. In my case, it's downloads, FS213 downloads. Yours might go to the desktop or wherever, but um, that's where it will appear anyway. Now, if we go into uh, your other window, these are just windows that I've just opened up. and I've got them already. I'm sure everybody knows how to do that. We need to get into our mods folder for Farming Simulator 2013. Uh, the address is usually the you know, name of your computer, My Documents, My Games, Farming Simulator 2013, and Mods. And this is your mods folder. And you'll see it. When you open it up on the left hand side here, you'll see you've got the right one when it's got all the save games op options. So we want uh, this uh, folder open here, mods. That's the farm I'm working on at the moment. These will all be, if you've got any, these will be all the, uh, the mods that you've got, like tractors and combines, when there's eventually some good combines. For 2013, there'll be a few in here as well, but uh, this is your, your mods folder. Now, we've got the start map. You may have to pause the video while you catch up and, and things. Um, we've got our start map here, and we want to unzip from here into a folder like like I have here, Rannick. <coughs> There's several ways of doing this. Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make a new folder and call it My New Map, which you should be familiar with if you followed my tutorials on 2011. So just make it a new folder. Just leave it as it is there, My New Map. Go into your downloads where you downloaded the zip. Double click it. Whichever uh, zip facility you're using, it'll be more or less the same. Extract to... A little bit tricky here, but this is the way I prefer to do it these days. Uh, click on... Um, where are we? Power 13, which is the name of my computer. My Documents. My Games. 
you're just looking for your mods folder which is up here same address farming simulator 2013 open up the mods and there's the file you've just made my new map click OK and that'll all unzip close that and finish with it and now you have the the, the basic flat map starter map in your mods folder. How it appears at the top now. Now, before we go any further, uh, to make things quicker and easier for people that don't need the i3d files, I removed all the i3d files from the models. So if we open up the models, buildings for example, then the barn, you'll see there's no i3d file there. So you can't actually import from here, but um, a lot of the import is not actually necessary if you're an advanced user. So to rectify that, what we need to do is go into, uh, if I can find it, yeah. We need to go into a slightly different place to get to the default map. Now this, you have to be careful what you're doing with these files because this is the actual game map. So we're going into uh, in my location anyway, is Program Files, Program Files 86, Farming Simulator 2013, Data, Maps, do it this way, sorry, Data, Maps, oh, just jumping down there, and then we've got the models here. This is all the files that the actual game needs to run. Click on, uh, uh, sorry, got our models here. What we want to do is copy this models folder over onto ours. I'll start that away now because it'll take a while. So copy it here. Don't just move it because then your game won't work. And you'll get these messages here that you want to overwrite. Just click yes on both. And then now if you open up buildings, for example, bar one, you'll see they've got the i3d file there. So that's us already. <clears throat> I'll close that, get that out of the way, and that one, and we'll make this one a wee bit bigger. I prefer big screens. It's old age, you see. Makes it easier on the eyes. Now, we could just open this straight away and go into the map and start editing it, but just want to explain one little thing here. You'll see that it's called Map. Uh, the original in 2011 was called Map01, the i3d file. That doesn't really matter what it's called, provided that in the sample mod map LUA, it's ref it references the, the correct one. So I'm not, I'm not going to change it, but we'll open it up. For, if, you, if you're going to edit any of these, the XML files, the LUA files, then you've, you'd be far better downloading and uh, installing Notepad++. I strongly recommend that because as you see when we open it everything's laid out in coloured format and it's a lot easier to see. Plus if you're going to get somebody to help you they want this file so that they can load it into their Notepad++ and uh, work with it a lot easier. So here's the reference here to get file name in the map and then after the forward slash whatever it is in there corresponds to whatever is here. So just to keep things the same as they were before, let's change it. So we'll go to map and we'll change that back to map01 because that's what everybody's used to. Before we can get it to work, obviously, go back into sample mod map LUA, open it with notepad, and you'll need to change that to map01 up to save. Close it. Bingo. So as long as that corresponds oops, to what that is, you will be able to open the map. So let's do that now. We'll open up a Giants Editor. And then we'll get the editor screen ready, and that'll be the end of this tutorial. And the next one will be actually making changes to the map. Right. So there's the map. Let's just get a blank bit of screen. Now, we're just going to set up the screen with the various windows that we need. You'll see that there's nothing at the sides and nothing at the bottom. We're going to change that. Uh, 
go into window first one you need is scenograph open that up you can drag that <coughs> along a bit <coughs> excuse me uh, and this is where all the files are that you need to change we also need attributes and these are automatically opening up in the sides that I've had before um, you can put these windows wherever you want you can put attributes under there if you wanted or, or change these right I prefer to keep them uh, where I'm used to them. You can put them wherever you like, but if you want to follow these video tutorials, you're perhaps better to have them. Um, other windows, we want also user attributes. Uh, why has it gone up there? Strange. So we want that there, and the editing window as well, terrain editing. We want that there. And down at the bottom here, the final one is scripting. You don't really need this one, but it's quite handy, particularly in uh, this FS13. Scroll down to the bottom. If you do something on the editor it doesn't like it, it will tell you down here. And there's loads of information on the scripting window. So there we go. That's us more or less ready to edit our map. Um, that's the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll actually build a small farm in the middle of nowhere and we'll change the cow mesh, sheep mesh and chicken mesh. Then we'll make a field and we'll set the field indicators and size and buy and sell icons and things all in that one field, which will practically cover everything that's new in Farming Simulator 2013. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.